परमण्यवाधिकारस्ते माफलेशु कदाचन माकर्म फल है तुर्भु माते संगोत्सवकर्म Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare It is our deep, deep honor and deep blessing to have with us His Holiness Puja Swami, Sri Divyanand Tirthji Maharaj, Sri Shankaracharya Ji, who is the 11th Shankaracharya of the Peet at Banpura Peet in India. In the Advait tradition of the Indian spiritual traditions, the Shankaracharya's Peets are the places where the wisdom, the truths and the culture of the land of India, of the Vedas, of that capital T truth are held and dispersed for all of humanity. Puja Swami Divyanand Tirthji Maharaj has had a life of Gyan Yoga, not just in his own life, but in that which he brings to all of those wherever he goes. And that wisdom, that jnana, is not facts or knowledge, but it's actual transformation. We always say when he's with us in Rishikesh at our International Yoga Festival that from the teachings, one is transformed. They're not teachings just for the head. They're teachings for our entire life. And they enter us and they touch us, and they transform us. It is an unspeakable honor and blessing to have Puja Sri Shankaracharya Maharaj with us here. So without taking any more time, I will ask him to share with us his words of wisdom and inspiration. <laughs> Hari ಪುರಾಣಸ್ತಮಸ್ವಿಶ್ವಸ್ಯಪರಂಚಾಮಿಶ್ವಮನಂತೂಪಯೂರ್ಯಮಗ್ನಿರ್ವರ್ಣಶ
ओम शांति 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 The chairperson of this international Gita conference, His Holiness, who is the president, founder of Jio Gita, which means Live Gita, Mahamandleshwar Gita Manishi. Sri Swami Gyananandji, His Holiness, the President of the Parmarth, who is a wonderful man, who has done great tasks as far as spirituality is concerned, not only in India, but in the whole world. I was surprised he the first Indian to get permission to construct Parmarth Niketan in Tibet at Mount Sarova and many other things that he has done. I don't think uh, time permits me to reveal all those, His Holiness, Shri Swami Radhanath Ji, Bhai Sahib Sat, Satpal Singh Ji, Shri Desh Pandey Ji, our Sadhvi Gideh Shwari Ji, Madam Senator Sir Tulsi Ji, the organizers of this conference, Srimati Satya and Mr. Kishan Kalraji, and of course, Master of Ceremony, our very dear Sadhvi Bhagwati Ji, and all the noble souls, all divine souls present here. Gita in today's context. I remember an English poet, the father of English literature, rather English poetry, Chaucer, who had written a beautiful poetry, The Canterbury Tales. In the prologue to The Canterbury Tales, he has collected 29 pilgrims and it is said those pilgrims they represent all ages and all times. In the same way Gita is not just a text which is related to India only and a book or is song which was narrated about 5,151 years back, but it is a song which represents all times and all ages and all nations and all people. I remember a saint, Madhusudan Saraswati, who happened to be Shankaracharya of Puripit, He himself withdrew from the pit and he was going to the Kashi to live there for the rest of his life. There were at least one lakh of books in the library at that time at Puri. He wanted to take some of them and he selected 10% of them, which amounted to about 10,000 of them. And he said at least he will need 100 donkeys to carry them. So he said no. And he wanted to minimize and he came to again 10%, that is 1,000. And then he said, 
Even then, he will need some more, at least 10 donkeys to carry them. And then, again 10%, 100. He thought he needs at least two persons, two porters to carry them. And then to 10, and he said, how can he carry himself also 10 books? And at last, he came to only one book, and that was Bhagavad Gita. When he reached Kashi, he merged himself into, Ka into Gita. It is not just reading of Gita. We have to march deep into Gita. In the words of Kabir Das, if you want to gain something, you will have to dive deep. Just sitting on the shore, you cannot get anything. You will, have go, you will have to go deep. Jin khoja tin paiya, gehre pani pet. You will have go, you will have to dive deep into the sea if you want to get something out of it. Just sitting on the shore, you cannot get anything. The whole life he had been teaching Vedant. I'm also Vedanti, of course. But when he went deep into Gita, he realized there is no difference between the Nirakar and the Sakar. The first shloka of the 12th chapter, Evan Satyukta Nam Bhaktas Pam Paripaste, Ye chapter Charma Vyaktam, Te Shamke Yoga Vittama. Arjun asks, Who is Yoga Vittam? Arjun who is a yogi? One who worships your Sagun Sakar Suru, that is the Krishna in his form, or one who is the Nirakar, the Almighty, who exists everywhere, of which the Upanishads have taught. Isa Vasamidam Sarvam Yet Kinch Jagatyam Jagat. There is one who is present in every participle, in every single Sarubhuti Terata. We were almost each and every speaker had talked of it. Out of them, who is Yogi with them? Who is Yogi? The God says, both are Yogis. Sagun Sakar, there is one who worships person, personally fight Krishna, is Yogi with them, and one who sees him in everybody. He begets me. He is to get me. So, if we compare those two lines, it is the same. Yo, who is a yogi? Who has got him? And one who has got him, he is the only yogi. So both are the same. The result of both is the same. But the bhakti yoga, it is little easier. And the Gyan yoga is little harder. Klesho diktara stesha, madhyakta sakta chetstam, avyakta higatir dukkham, deha vadvir vapyate. I don't want to take more time because we are already delayed. The session was supposed to be up to 12.30, but it's going to be one now. We are already half an hour late. But I'll just give you three tips. If we can inculcate three things from Gita into our life, because Gita is the only text or it is the only sermon which has taken place on a battlefield. We have got Bible, the Holy Bible, but it is a sermon from the Mount. As far as Quran is concerned, the Holy Quran also we got from a tree. But as far as Gita is concerned, we have got it on the battlefield. Our life itself is a battlefield. Shakespeare had said, 
Life is not a bed of roses. It is tempest. Life is a struggle. We have to struggle. Our life is Kurukshet. It is a battlefield. A Udu Shair had said, Jo kisti ko dubo de, Usse tufaan kehte hai. Jo kisti ko dubo de, Usse tufaan kehte hai. Jo tufaan se takrai, Usse insaan kehte hai. One, which can drown a ship. It is called tempest. But one who can fight with the tempest is man. So we have to become man. And that we can get only if we know how to struggle. And therefore Gita is the most practical sermon in this world. Because it is on the battlefield. It is on a place of a struggle which teaches us how can we struggle in life. And for that, I'll just give you three things. The first is sincerity. Gita teaches us to be sincere. And this sincerity should be so natural that one cannot help being sincere. Even if we don't want to be sincere, we will have to be sincere. That's what Gita teaches us. He says, fight with sincerity. Never think of the result. You'll definitely get the result when you, you, when you do your duty. The second thing is selflessness. By this I mean absolute devotion to the cause one serves without any thought of personal reward or appreciation. We may be appreciated. We might, we might not be appreciated. Never think of appreciation. If we think of appreciation, we will be lost. If we think of rewards, we will be lost. We shouldn't have any thought of appreciation. We shouldn't have any thought of rewards. But let's do our duty. That is Karmanyavadikaraste. Mafale Shukadachana. We will definitely be rewarded. We will definitely be appreciated when we do our duty. And the third, a genuine interest in and real knowledge of humanity. Let's not divide ourselves. An Indian poet who got the Nobel Prize for Literature, Rabindranath Tagore says, where the world has not been divided into fragments by narrow domestic walls, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country wake. He should have, he should have written my country, he should have written my universe, our whole universe. It should not be divided into fragments. Why should we be divided into fragments? We are all one. Today a thought has got dropped in it. In the whole world, that the world is a village. But no. Ages back, the seers of India said, world is a family. What should they become? And so, let us live in this world as a family. And if we are family members, definitely there will be no struggle. Why a struggle will take place? A struggle takes place when I think I am other than you or you think you are other than me, only then the struggle will take place. As Radhanath Ji had quoted, Mama Ivan Shoji Valuki, Jeeva Bhuta Sanatana. Everyone is the spark of the same divinity. And when we are the sparks of the same divinity, why should we be divided? 
We should be human first. And then Hindu or Muslim or Sikh or Christian. That is secondary. First we are human. We have the same blood. We have the same flesh. So if these three things are inculcated in our life, then we will know how to live Gita. We have to live Gita. We have to inculcate Gita in ourselves. Satya, she was a CEO of a very good company, but she left and then she has also merged into Gita. She had beautifully tried to explain in her book, my questions, God answers. She had put Arjun in, Arjun, uh, she had put herself as Arjun and Krishna as God answering her questions. I had read that book, it is a beautiful book. She has now summarized it against a, again a substance. She presented it this morning. Of course, I couldn't read the whole thing, only a few lines I could read of it. But hundred strokes she has selected. And if we can even put one of it in our life, definitely we are to conquer the world. We can, conquer, we can cross the bar in the words of Lord Tennyson. One day or the other, we have to cross the bar. And how can we cross the bar? We can cross the bar. The first slope, almost all the speakers have quoted, Der Dharma Kshetri Guru Kshetri. There is Kshetri Kshetri Dharmam Guru. There is in whatever walk of life you may be. You may be a businessman. You may be a serviceman. You may be in the field of medicine. You may be in the field of surgery. You may be in the field of education. Do your duty with perfection. Yoga comes to caution. What is yoga? Yoga is to do our duty to the best of our ability. And if we can do our duty to the best of our ability, we are definitely to cross the bar. With these words, I once again bless the organization, organizers of this conference, Srimati Satya and her husband, Shri Kishanji Kalra, and all of you too, for coming to this beautiful conference. Once again, blessings to you all, and thank you for patient hearing. Thank you. Hare 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 Hare